everybody, it's Rob from No BS Selling on eBay. Kind of going to give you an update on my haul from um, Savers and Goodwill the other day. Um, basically, it wasn't really much to get. Uh, Savers had half off on pants sale, so I was trying to get involved in the Levi's and things like that. Um, really, very slim picking. I did get a pair of these jeans right here. You can see them. They're called Kooji, Kooji, C O O G I. They're Australian made. They got the embroidered butt on both sides. Pretty decent pair of pants. They have some damage on the cuffs, but you know, they'll do all right. Um, on eBay, I saw a pair of similar. Only for a hundred dollars. These were, you can see that right there, six ninety nine. Sorry, six ninety nine. Yeah, I can't get it right now. Let's see. Let's see, it's upside down. Six ninety nine. So they're half off. So it was a pretty good score. Another thing I just got in the delivered, more ties. I seem to be doing pretty good on the ties. I have here some Jerry Garcia, Jay Garcia. I don't know if you can see this. Pretty nice looking tie, kind of bright for me, but then we got other ones like Can't even say the name on that one. Olga Lashani. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. So basically, I got 30 ties for um, total price I paid, including shipping, was $20.99. You break down that per tie, 69 cents. So if I list, list them, I'm usually putting my ties at $295 and uh, $277 in shipping to go first class. I don't know, I'm not doing, um, kind of leaning away from the free shipping only because um, I shipped some other products and uh, they came back and were more than what I anticipated. So I kind of lost a little bit of my profit. But they weren't ties, they were auto parts and um, um, like a lunchbox that I made a deal on to sell for best, you know, best offer. And the guy didn't pay the freight, but because my original listing on eBay said free shipping, I had to honor it. And I'm not really going to want to take a negative feedback over, you know, $5. It just wasn't worth it. So... Those will go out. Here's another thing to look at. You know, you order a few boxes from the post office. They send you quite a bit of boxes. I have to get those taken back. So when you order the boxes from the post office, be very leery or very aware on how many boxes you're requesting. I requested one. I've got 15 that I have to take back. So that was a big mistake on on the post office but because they ship me boxes all the time and I'm pretty good friends with the post person you know it is what it is um, another thing I've talked about too was uh, savers and goodwill and uh, here at the opportunity house you know I'm talking to uh, Luke at endless up on entrepreneurs and uh, Steve with Recon profits and you know, those guys are very helpful. You know, they answer your questions. They're not too big to where they want to answer your questions. So I've been back and forth with Luke. You know, he's out in Charlotte. So is uh, Steve. I think they're up back east too. And also there's another guy, Prof Sales. Very helpful guy as far as, you know, getting the Levi market and stuff. The problem here is in California that... Um, Savers and those guys, they don't have, they don't do it by a flat rate. Um, Goodwill does, I think they're like $6.99, but the jeans that I found there, 
just aren't worth it. Um, they're mediocre genes. They may bring you a pretty good return, although the ones I've seen there just recently were pretty much trashed and beat up. They were, you know, holes in them. The cuffs were all scuffed up, missing buttons. The pockets were torn. You know, as, as far as I can tell right now, the quality of stuff donated goes to Savers. Savers is very pricey, unless you can get on a half off day and um, get them at a pretty decent rate. But if you look at those jeans there, at $6.99 or whatever they were, you're going to try and make $10 profit. So you're $16.99, and if you do free shipping, now well, there's two, you know, five dollars. So you're down to, you know, what is it, eleven dollars? After you factor in, you know, what you've paid for them, and then putting them in the box and getting ready to go. You know, all those other guys I mentioned in the beginning, they all do free shipping. So, but they're also getting their jeans way less than what we're I'm paying. So I'm kind of on the fence as far as listing for free, I mean listing uh, free shipping compared to charging a few dollars to get some kind of money back on the shipping. So it's kind of a, I don't know yet, still kind of leery about it. But right now, you know, if I'm going to be getting more involved in the genes, I learned from um, you know, from Luke over there again, that blazers, you know, I have, I have a blazer on there. I got a good deal on it, so I bought it when I was in uh, Goodwill. It hasn't moved at all. Um, you know, it's not really a blazer, according to everybody else in the, the suit world. And so I've got a suit jacket that, unless you can get an exact match on the pants, which this didn't have, you know, I wasn't educated as far as what a blazer is and what a jacket is. You know, a blazer has different types of buttons. They're usually a dark blue. I was told that the buttons could be metal. This one is a four-breasted four jacket. Not very many people are buying four-breasted, four-buttons uh, jackets. So kind of trying to learn my way on those blazers. Don't know or the suits unless I can get the pants. I would not recommend that you get involved with them. And out here, again in California, <clears throat> they are anywhere from $9.99 to $16, $17. I saw a Ralph Lauren for $17. Now on eBay, they're going for $17. So you're not going to make any money on those type of things um, unless you get them on a half off sale day which you know savers and those guys very rarely do it i am a club card member so i get emails when they are going to have them so usually i'm right on it when i when i get those emails that i don't wait um, i'm kind of wondering if anybody's ever ventured into buying stuff that like out here there's Coles and Marshalls, but I don't think they have very many brand name jeans that you're going to get, like, you know, Diesel or Miss Me's, Miss Me Jeans, you know, um, anything like that. I noticed those jeans go for good money, but you got to find them. That's another thing. Most of the ones I find, you know, are, I really don't recognize the brands and I'm not that familiar with them yet. So they may be hot items, I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna list some old Levi 501s that I have, see how they go. I mean, Levi is a staple of a lot of jeans I see out there on eBay. Problem with that is, there's a lot of them. So, you know, unless you have that one size, which, you know, this is a 40 by 32, you know, Last time I looked on eBay, there was about like 700 of them. So do you really want to cut a profit and take a hit? Or not a hit, but you want to make less and list more. That's the dilemma I keep running into. Because of the pricing out here from these guys, again, on eBay, I mean on Savers and um, Goodwill, and uh, the one out here, the Opportunity House, you know, they're pricing high. So, as a reseller, 
trying to get into the business to get things going and get an understanding of what I can price them at and make money. That's the whole thing. I got to make money. I'm trying to make at least ten dollars per jean. Um, the ties, you know, after I list those ties there, I'm probably going to have a hundred of them on my store. So, are they good? They're nice ties. Are they selling? Not really. I'm doing an auction on half of them and buy it now. I got a real oddball, goofy looking tie that I thought nobody in their right mind is going to bid on compared to the Che Garcia's and the Ralph, um, Ralph Lauren's and the other ones I have on there, the higher end ties. It's, people are bidding on it and I'm just amazed. It's an absolutely ugly tie. I would never wear it, even if I was, I just would never wear it. It's ugly, but it's selling. So I'm kind of learning that the oddity of the product is what's selling. The cookie cutter, plain Jane, normal tie looking, normal pair of jeans, normal jackets. I mean, I got leather jackets on my store. Two nice leather jackets, one I've had for years, decided to sell it. I never wear it. It's been sitting in my closet. I can't get rid of it. And it's a good jacket. Nothing wrong with it. I got another one I've had for even a longer, heavy jacket. Could be considered for a motorcycle riding jacket. Still can't get rid of it. And I don't know why. I listed it off of somebody who had already sold one similar, high price, used their, you know, buy it. I basically just said, you know, sell one like that or however that is on eBay. I haven't got a darn thing. And my price is lower than the one that sold. So I'm trying to understand things a little more still and it's taking time and you know, like everybody, like Luke and all those guys have said the same thing. It doesn't happen overnight. I've seriously been only going at this full, at a real serious for probably a two months, a month if that. So, you know, so the dilemma again here is the price of sourcing the product, which is high, so profits are going to be low, so you're going to move more product, that's why I had to get a store, which is great, but then now out here in California it's getting you know warmer weather and pretty soon the, um, the garage sales are all going to be coming out. So you know that's another video in itself. I'm going to list these things probably for be ready on Saturday. It's Thursday here now. And uh, again, if anybody you know likes my video, great. If you don't, sorry. I mean, I'm not out to try and uh, you know impress everybody. I'm just basically recording my process. So if somebody wants to see it from somebody who's basically not having any glitzy gram, you know big photo, you know, studio, have a dedicated uh, place in their house or their apartment for the photos, the eBay listing, you know, as you can look at it right now, I'm in my garage. This is the only place I have that I can store the stuff I've gotten. I can't put it in the house because, you know, I just can't have boxes everywhere. I list from my laptop sitting at a computer desk, basic as it can get. This is the reason why I put no BS selling on eBay is because I'm not showing any frills. Straight up what I do, this is my thought process. Hopefully, you know, you listen and uh, you guys can uh, like my video and even answer me a question. Maybe I can figure it out or we can figure it out together. But, you know, these are going to be taking, take photos of them, inventory them, and hopefully get them up on, uh, up on the eBay for this Sunday. All right, this is Rob going to end up this video uh, for no BS selling on eBay. You guys have a good night. Talk to you later.